We have a worm bin. Oh, oh God! Whoa. Close it! Man. <laughs> So Hyundai has this new hybrid vehicle called the Ionic, and they've challenged us to live sustainably for a week. We are going to be living in a future house. What does the future look like for you? We're going to have a baby, right? Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, different we're, video. Like so we're not just going net zero, we're going net positive. Net zero basically just means that your footprint, whether it's carbon or water, energy, food, is not having a negative impact. I feel like I'm a pretty wasteful person. I order a lot of stuff online, yeah. and it probably comes from far, far away. Yeah. And it always comes in cardboard boxes. I like eating red meat, even though I know it like uses a lot of water. You take really long showers. I take really long showers. I mean, I recycle. I'm not a monster. You actually need to do more, and you can do more. Growing your own food locally, making your own energy, even making your own water. If you made two watts, and you use one watt, you'd be giving one watt back. We are going to try and make more energy than we take. The electric company is going to pay us. I thought we were just going to have to be net zero. Not enough. Wait, that yet? That's it, yeah. Oh, look at this. Future house open. Future house open. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> Come on in. Oh, thank you. We built this house with the idea that you actually don't have to give up anything to have a better lifestyle that's better for your health, that's better for your wallet, and better for your environment. Showers are super, super efficient. We have a gray water system. You guys probably won't have to turn on the heat or the cooling because the house is so well insulated. The kitchen has an induction cooktop. You can cook a lot faster and with less nice. energy use. So this is the future. It's day one in our future house. The very first thing I want to do is like use a bunch of. I want to turn things on. I want to turn everything on. There's so many cool things to play with. Mm -hmm. Oh, ah, no! Stop. Here's to the future, Mr. Fowler. Here's to the future. Love you. Love you. Number one is keep it local. You can do so much with your fork. Your eating choices have huge effects. Look at our little planties. So sustainable right now. We're so sustainable. We're so sustainable. I, know. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I remember this from elementary school. You did this in elementary yeah, school? Yeah, right? give it enough space so it can breathe. Like that? Yeah. Is that good? You don't need to like... No, that's too much. Water and energy are critical. There's less than 3% of fresh water on the planet. Rainwater is harvested in a 1,400 gallon rainwater tank. We just simply throw a lever and water the plants. Ah! What are foods that are better for the environment and less good? For one pound of meat, it is the equivalent of 2,500 gallons of water. You know, I, I just, I really like eating beef. What do radishes taste like? Are they like little onions? Some vinaigrette. Some, some, what is this, a lemon? Yeah, lemon it's got lemon, vinaigrette. olive oil. Do, 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 do. On our little salad. Mmm. That's not bad. I still kind of wish it was a ham sandwich. Not bad. Future house, make me cookies. Doesn't work. Hey, Ariel, guess what? What? In the future. Your lights will play jams. It's coming out of the light! What's up, what's happening? Balling out with no basket. And the whole block gonna see me and get applause without no acting. We got action, so they asking. And they calling out what it's all about. My chick born, whip born, and both of them got no action. It's actually really nice to wake up with the sun, and this house just has like an energy to it. I'm digging it. It's good. You're soaking up the energy? Sustainability. As far as recycling leftover table scraps, because mm -hmm. we have a worm bin. They make their worm tea, and we fertilize our plants with that. Now, worm tea is a nice name for poop, right? Yes, it's poop. Let's churn out some worm poop. I was gonna say it smells like coffee, but it doesn't. It smells really bad. Oh, no, that is, that's why they call it tea. That's crazy. Okay, this is worth it now. Ariel's going to put the worm tea on the plants uh, very carefully. No, wait, no, 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 wait, no. How's this? Yes, very nice. Is that better? That's better. <laughs> worm tea on our lettuce. Let's wash it off. Yeah. Yeah. 
Got more teeth. Oh, Ned! We have a gray water system. If you've washed your clothes and you've used the right kind of soap, you can water our plants in the backyard with a lever. I don't think that this is right. Oh, it's gray water. No, this is not gray water. This is suds. Oh. Ah. Ow! Ah. No, stop it. Ah. Computer house, turn off. <laughs> ah. I hope we didn't kill the tree. No, 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 no. Today was really hard. Ned has gotten so frustrated. He ordered a pizza. What would David say? Not enough. Sorry, not sorry. Oh my goodness! Uh, what is going on here? Oh, don't mind me, I'm just rising with the sun. <laughs> I think that in the future, when you use what we call biomimetic design as mimicking nature, forms will evolve organically because nature does it much better than humans can. Apparently, this painting behind us was made with worms. So we are gonna try and mimic nature today by making art with our worms. You dip your worm in the paint here, and then they're gonna wriggle around, and it's all Non-toxic paint. Oh, I don't know, Ned. Reach your hand so, in there. No, they're so you gross. You got it. Ah. He's an artist. Hey, little guy. You ready to get crafty? He's like gonna be a moody artist. Here you go. He's having fun. Like this guy's mesmerized. just going for gold over here. Do you think we mimic nature with our art? Yeah. Oh, look at you. Right? It's like a special night. Yeah, you look beautiful. Thank you. And our food looks gorgeous as well. It really does. Yeah. We're keeping it so local. 10 feet away. To uh, our last night in the future. A last night in the future. Do you think we did it? There were definitely moments where we were not as successful. No way to hang out. Oh, God. <laughs> the house is breaking up there were other moments where I feel like we were doing okay. Living in the future, baby! It's good. It's not waste, it's art. I'm taking as long as the shower as I want because of science. This wasn't actually that unattainable. Yeah, small changes. Small changes. So we lived in a future house for a week. It's amazing there is that technology that we can be creating energy over the course of this week. Especially knowing we don't have to change our lifestyle. We have abundant resources. We're just not using them as intelligently as we should. That last meal yeah, opened my things. eyes as to what a vegetarian diet can do. Final verdict. Let's check out how much energy we use this week. Okay. okay. Oh! We did, we did it! We are just barely net positive. 69 kilowatt hours. I because don't think that's that many. I don't think it's that many either. But it's but technically positive. I am still kind of bummed we can't talk to the house. Okay, Google. Tell Blue Link to start my Ionic. Sure. A remote start request has been sent. You did it! <laughs> you talked to the house! It just needed a woman's touch. We should probably, we should probably go. Yeah, we should probably go. <laughs> Ideally, we're just smarter and more efficient in the future, and that doesn't compromise our quality of life. It adds to it. And now we'd like to reveal to you the world premiere of our worm art. Actually, I think, I think that's upside down. No, uh, yeah, it's very important. 